It's real hard to throw serve all these in a row. Trying to throw the old school slider with the seams and with my broad hands and stubby fingers, I'm going to try to double up right there on that outside seam. Wish I could throw two in a row. Ain't easy. That wasn't bad. Bit of a hanger. Let's see if I can do a couple more. Not bad at all. Let's get a good one. And I spoke too soon. Come on. Was actually pretty good except it was three feet inside come on I want one more good one really good one That was a bit flat. Now that wasn't bad. But I mean, I'm not a pitcher. I've never pitched a single pitch in competition. What I'm trying to do, so I'm trying to figure out how short, broad body type might be able to throw and I've been working on the assumption that uh, by looking at guys almost a hundred years ago that low arm angles seem to pay off. I've found newsreel footage where guys like Artie Neff, Dickie Kerr, who's another one, Willie Sherdell, they're throwing from that angle. None of them is over 5'9". They're about my height, even a little shorter. And they're throwing from like this about 9, 8, 30. And when there's one news reel in particular, I think it comes from about the 26 World Series. I think that's the Yankees and the Cardinals, isn't it? But some of the Cardinal dudes are interviewed and the voiceover says, hey, Artie, how do you throw your curveball? And back then, they don't have the, the term for slider. So what they're throwing is a slider. But they always, you know, they show this. So I grip it by the, with the seams. That's how they throw everything. And they're going to throw their slider by going on that seam. Of course, again, with my short fingers, I'm having to be creative. But there's nothing wrong with being creative. I'm just really pressing down with that middle finger on the index finger. And sometimes I get, get that good, sharp, slider break again I'm not a pitcher as that amply illustrates and that had a good break it <laughs> just three three feet inside that's the only problem That was a good pitch. Got to work at it. I am not a pedigreed pitcher. I'm not pretending to be. What I know that almost no professional pitching coach knows is 
what it means to live in a five foot nine body. And that's the basis of my expertise. That's why I'm trying to look for something that'll work for other guys like us that have been passed over in baseball and especially in the pitching aspect of the game. Be creative, be creative.